Why go into cancer research? That's a question that we are often asked by the students. I knew I loved biology, and I had a good feeling I'd love research, and working in prostate cancer research really just drove it home. It's also one of the most dynamic, engaging, and passionate group of people that you'll ever meet. I would consider a career in cancer research because it just, it, I feel like it's right for me. I really like this. I don't know exactly which path I shall be following, but I would love to pursue cancer research in some aspects I'm older. I've got various interests in cancer research, but I like to see bedside to bench works. I myself came from a family where I was the first member of my family to go to college. I definitely want to become a doctor and hopefully earn an MD-PhD and be involved in research in the future. I can actually help in cancer research if I do go into pathology. So uh, it's like a win-win situation. Like I don't have to change what I want to be. There is no better feeling, whether you're a basic scientist and your work won't be applied for 10 years or whether you're right there with the patient, there is no better feeling than to think that you can go into work every day and what you do is making a difference in so many lives. I began a love for research in high school from science fair and was able to do a lot of different uh, summer programs and has really developed a strong sense of research, especially in cancer research. Kids can actually go out there nowadays with all these new forms of technology. They can actually do research without having some kind of fancy medical degree from a grade school, you know. A career in cancer research is an incredibly rewarding career. Uh, you're constantly reminded why you do what you do. You ask questions, you're the first one to get the answer, you know, to some questions, and that's such a thrill. You know, you get such a personal thrill. But then you realize that that answer can change the world for somebody. Opening up new doors towards uh, groundbreaking discoveries, so that's really, really entices me, and I want to be, like, on that front line of discovering. Not only understanding the science, but also seeing that really impact someone's life. I think that is really, really what dri should drive people to do anything. The science education program of AACR begins with high school students, extends through those in undergraduate situations, right through uh, graduate training and even postdoc and uh, even mentoring for early investigators, early faculty members. I think having a, an organization that can serve the needs across that entire spectrum is really important. AACR is amazing. I hadn't heard about it till my a mentor uh, advised me to submit my abstract to it. And coming here and seeing all the work that's being done is completely incredible. I had no idea like the depth of what everyone's doing and seeing it all in one place is really amazing. They bring them into the annual meeting and let them explore all the activities here. They get to meet with scientists and clinicians. They get to see the booths, hear the talks, and really engage with the community of cancer researchers. They go around, they can look at posters, they can learn, this is up to date, this is what we should do, and they will go home and they have already a list what they're gonna perform experiments like in the next week, in the next couple of months. It opened up my eyes to like what, what's out there, you know, what we've accomplished, what we know, what we don't know, what we're still trying to do. You can really see it spark enthusiasm in many of them. Before I was just thinking about med school, but after being here, after being inspired by, you know, all the PhDs, all the MD PhDs, I think it's really inspired me to maybe, you know, go one step higher, to set the bar a little bit higher for myself. This is good work. It's helping people. It's, you know, it's fun. It's entertaining. Everyone here loves their jobs, loves what they're doing, and it's for a good cause. It makes me want to go in and unsolve some of these mysteries because there's so many, like, unsolved parts of it that I want to go I want to contribute to it. Of all of the things that we do in the education arena at AACR, I think that the Bardo Scholars is probably the best thing we do. Undergraduate students bring a lot of excitement to the team. For some of the students who come, this is the first time they've given a public presentation of their work. And the value there is incredible because they have each other's support. We're looking at the difference in prostate cancer and colorectal cancer in African Americans and Caucasian Americans because there's a racial disparity in those cancer types. These students are well, well ahead of where we were at that age. I wasn't thinking about doing a career in cancer research at that time. 12% of all new cancers are, can be associated directly with viral infection. So my lab is trying to develop a technology that can target these viruses in infected cells and possibly lead to a therapy.
They are very enthusiastic, have a lot of new ideas and opportunities to try to contribute. Our lab um, focuses on uh, nutritional intervention and its effects on cancer, uh, specifically omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids and omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids. It's critical to engage the best young students in the fight against cancer. We need smart people to join us and there are many opportunities to contribute. I'm actually writing a handbook so that hopefully any undergraduate student can come into our lab, pick a different natural compound from a Florida plant that, and find a treatment for different types of cancer. The excitement that comes along with finding something new, with contributing to a team effort, then sharing that with, with other researchers and contributing to a pool of knowledge that really helps create real change in how we treat people, help people, and discover new things. That's something that you don't get in many other places. Trying to answer the fundamental problem of cancer is something that really kind of touches me, and it touches most of the people in the world. And I really feel like being a part of that is a worthwhile goal for my life. And you get to have interactions with the most amazing people in the world who are so dedicated to their work, and it's literally a, a tr career choice that I've never regretted. Cancer is one of the big challenges of our time, and it touches us all. When you're young, you may not see that, but ultimately, you, your family members, your friends, you will be touched by this disease. So I would encourage you to join the fight. Uh, think about cancer as a very worthwhile calling. Uh, whether you want to do patient care or research or both or education, there's huge opportunities in all these areas and beyond for amazing contributions to this important mission.